Hello guys and welcome back to the Pedro campaign where we play as Brazil and try and win a cultural victory. <laughs> so yeah, today we're gonna just gonna f focus on uh, propelling our empire into uh, the next era. Because as you can see in science we are still in the medieval era and uh, time tells us that it's time to move on and go into the renaissance era which is what we're going to try and do so last uh, episode we focused on getting our science up and we're going to continue doing that today i think i might just i've been having it on uh, having the game on uh, windowed but I think I may need to change it over to hold on uh, video oh damn can't do that so we'll do that uh, prior to next turn so our ki spy was killed that is uh, very unfortunate because I thought Ramses was gonna try and steal something from somebody else uh, but it'll have to be can you guys, if I move this, nothing happens there. Nice. So yeah. Um, yeah, our spy was killed. That is uh, very... This is not... That's bad for us. So I was hoping he could steal a... Uh, some kind of... Uh, Alright, so... Uh, we're going to tell him that, yeah, we'll stop. Stop stealing from you. Oh, this is good. So we get the extra. So yeah, uh, it looks like we're falling behind even in the cultural race. So hmm, let's see. I think more gold will probably be worth more uh, as we approach the later stages of the game. It's nice to have a, a gold buffer just in case. Uh, like right now we're trying to catch up because we have been playing very sloppily and uh, been wasting a lot of time in the early games so if you haven't seen the earlier episodes I uh, you can go back and when you see me doing mistakes you can tell me in the comments and I'll uh, I'll take note of it and I'll try to improve for the next game uh, I'm pretty sure I made a few early game mistakes so if you guys could call that out, I'd be uh, that'd be nice, actually. So so yeah, we're gonna build in Salvador. We're gonna continue uh, to increase our gold. So I'm gonna build a mint uh, for the two extra gold there. We are also going to build flourishing arts. Yeah, we're gonna go down this tree. Actually, it would have been better if we would have gotten the uh, artistic genius here. Because that would uh, allow us to get the... Oh. Damn. That cultural output. Where did that come from? Does that come from... Uh, actually. Does the uh, National Epic has one? Amphitheater. Hmm. No, the university doesn't have one. Where does all that culture? Uh, my culture. Where does all these. Uh, like, where does the tourism come from? We don't really have. What? So we just buffed our. Oh, maybe it's the uh, Golden Age? Oh yeah, uh, so, oh, that means we need to focus a lot more on happiness, actually. I thought the uh, bonus was only, alright, alright, so I, I understand how it works now. So, Brazil, uh, uh, the, alright, so I get it, the, uh, the bonus is only active. Alright, I need to uh, 
my camera is not in the center. Oh, I suppose it changes to top center. So top. There we go. Uh, so yeah, you so you guys can see the uh, score screen over here because I've been like it, whenever I do the Skyrim episodes and uh, some other games. I move the camera to the side because there's always like this uh, in Skyrim you have the heads up, uh, the heads up display in the top there. Uh, so yeah, so I basically move it to the side. But now, uh, whenever I do save, I have to change it, and I always forget before I start uh, recording. But yeah, we're gonna increase our gold a bit. Um, we, I see now that we have two extra slots, so yeah, we want gold uh, to catch up in buildings and stuff. I should probably focus on increasing my production a bit. So here, we're, now that we have a free worker here and here, we're gonna build the... Uh, oh, replacement spy. Uh, that's, that's awesome. So we're gonna move him... Uh, we promised Egypt we wouldn't uh, spy on him, so I'm not gonna do that because if he finds out we're gonna be in so much trouble because he's basically number one in this game so uh, I think we're gonna move him on to defense uh, for the time being so Sao Paulo will be our uh, our uh, science city because it has the highest population and population will help towards science output as you can see at 37 he has almost half and way more science than any other city so this would be the best city to put the uh, uh, what, what am I doing so there we go uh, the uh, Oxford University as well as the National College I realized that I don't have mountains so I won't be able to get the observatory but I'll get that in Salvador uh, just because of it's an extra boost but since it's not available here that's a loss uh, it's unfortunate but that's uh, the way it looks right now I'll get the most bonus out of building National College and Oxford in uh, Sao Paulo here so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with Oxford uh, so yeah we're we're doing fine in terms of like military defense I think I'm gonna have to check demographics uh, we're number five uh, number one is only yeah, we're like half of number one, almost. Uh, so I'm gonna build some Brasswood camps. Uh, that will actually give us gold. Cool. Uh, once we get acoustics, we get culture. I'm not sure what we're uh, researching. Yeah, we're researching acoustics. So we'll get two culture as well. So our jungle ties will be worth a lot of money. And like it'll, they will be worth a lot, basically. It'll be worth like three gold, two science, to food and as well as the culture so we'll get quite a nice boost once we get those up oh this is awesome research agreement with Egypt they uh, like they'll get ahead even more but we'll I think we'll earn the more out of it uh, so as long as we focus on science we'll be able to catch up uh, we're gonna keep going to Gao because because of the science we're still getting it so one science is not a lot at this point, uh, but it's enough that I want it. I want it basically. So yeah, this is good. Uh, we need to. I might buy some land over here, just because this is basically the only production this city is ever going to get. Uh, if I get in a great engineer, I'll plop it down here on this uh, plains there. But I am actually going to buy tiles here. Uh, like he'll be mad at me uh, for a while but I hope that's it's gonna be worth it because I really need the production in Sao Paulo it's got basically only jungle uh, yeah it's got basically only jungle and some marsh and stuff so that's very important uh, nobody's grabbed the Machu Picchu uh, it'll take me 16 turns to do so uh, I'm not sure how much I get from so we have 21 gold that will increase by 25% so it's worth like 5 gold mm. so this one will be worth 10 gold per turn that's quite a lot but I don't think 
it's worth it, to be honest. I think just building Circus Maximus is better. Uh, no, I'm I'm gonna build market and try and get the gold income also increased in all my cities. So science and gold is our main focus right now because we already have the. Uh, oh, look at that! Look at that! Uh, we have another person settling here. Like it doesn't uh, bother me that much because I already have all the territory that I can use over here and it won't grow as much towards us uh, so basically this is only a another person to trade with which, which is gonna help me uh, immensely hopefully or hopefully it'll help me immensely so we're gonna make a caravan to trade with the uh, Aotearola wait what? Aotearoa Aotearoa I don't know how to pronounce that but Hopefully some of you guys uh, know how to pronounce it and can tell me in uh, phonetic. In the country of the blind. Oh, there we go. We're Renaissance era now, so uh, we're not that far behind, I hope. I don't know if Notre Dame has been taken, but I'm going to assume yes. But we still have to catch up with this science, so I'm going to build that anyway. I'm going to research that anyway. Uh, we have 200 faiths, so we can get a pagoda in uh, Salvador or Sao Paulo, I'm not sure which one has the... Uh... So, we have even more missionaries coming. Uh, we'll see, like, the... Uh... Here we go, another great writer. Uh, we'll make a great work out of that. Uh... Happy is the man who is broken. So, uh, we get... We have quite nice... Uh... Tourism output. I think we're in, like the best, the highest producing. We're on par with Egypt uh, when we don't have a golden age. When we have a golden age, we basically double it. Uh, so we want to go for happiness and great people production right now. If we want to work towards the win, which we're not currently doing, we're just trying to keep up with the other players. So we get, don't get overrun in uh, technology wise. Uh, so yeah, we're. Uh, I'm gonna check for theming bonuses and stuff like that. Museum, we don't have it, so we don't basically don't have any place to. Uh, yeah, we have some empty great slots left. Two empty slots left. Uh, I'll work to get that filled. But in the meantime, I'm going to. Uh, after this caravan, it's time to start building. So, uh, building more. Uh, more uh, culture buildings. So here we go. We have uh, these Brasswood camps give a lot of bonus now. So I'm gonna work on getting those up. Uh, I think they're worth more than trading posts for me right now. Or maybe they replace trading posts. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see what we can build here. Monastery is probably not worth it. Uh, I think we have a pagoda. No. They already have a pagoda in both of these cities, so we have a pagoda here. Check Sao Paulo, uh, it does not, so what does it cost? It costs 300, so we're gonna wait for 300 and then we're gonna get a pagoda. Uh, so yeah, we've. Uh, if you haven't followed uh, the episodes, or if you've just only seen the first ones and then skip ahead to this one, uh, we basically made our religion, yeah he built Notre Dame, that's unfortunate that's the way it's gonna have to be so yeah we basically gave up the religious wars when he started sending his missionaries over to us uh, because we only want the religion to be shared between our uh, our uh, shared between us so if they have the same majority religion as we do we still get the bonus even if it's their religion so uh, that's basically what I went for and uh, it's been paying off I think uh, we're 25% with India, which is awesome, even though we don't have all that much. They have quite low production of culture, so that's probably why. Um, I think maybe uh, Egypt is closer to cultural victory than we are. Damn, that bonus. Uh, I also want that bonus. Once I get that bonus, this will like skyrocket in uh, effectiveness and we'll basically be able to... 
So yeah, we got the Musician Guild and stuff like that. Uh, Sistine Chapel. Uh, I might want to try for it. Uh, I'll see how long, how many turns it takes to make, do it in uh, Rio de Janeiro. If it takes too long, I'm just going to go for the uh, Sistine Chapel and stuff. And stuff like that. Um, but we're going to build the uh, Opera House. At least. <sighs> Song I was open borders. I'm gonna say no. Uh, he starts moving his great prophet here anyway. Which is bad for us because we want the religion of uh, Egypt so we can get influence over them. Because they they are basically the ones producing the most. So whoever gets between us first will probably have a big advantage in, in the late game. So yeah, it'll take us 40 turns to build. Uh, that's way too long. And the culture is basically irrelevant at this point. Because we'll get so much culture from uh, our Brasswood camps that it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and build a Musician's Guild. Uh, and send my caravan back to... Or not back to, I'm gonna send it out to uh, trade with the Polynesians here. That'll give us, us and them, science. So it's a win-win for both of us. Uh, we don't get as much gold because I haven't built any uh, like caravanasari and stuff like that. Uh, I'll probably get on that once I get the... So yeah, we lost the pyramids. We didn't even try for the pyramids, so I guess that's fine. Uh, they're still trying to... Oh man, I want the Sao Paulo to stay... Uh... Let me see if they have any buildings. No. So... Uh... I should probably just build a monastery here then, yeah. There we go, some more faith. Um, like, faith right now is uh, largely irrelevant. Uh, quite a nice boost. What was that? Something connected to my PC. Mm, that's weird. S so yeah, as I was saying, uh, oh nice, we got a great artist. Uh, that'll give us a great work of art. So now we have 12. Uh, let's see, culture victory. So now we are the high top uh, producer of uh, tourism at the moment. Uh, which will give us a nice boost towards the late game. So we no longer have the shared religion trait with Egypt. Uh, Egypt is ahead in between our, our uh, like they're exotic with everyone and we are exotic with everyone but Egypt so we're gonna have to try and get as much influence over Egypt as we can. So let's see here uh, I think let's see faster embark like we don't want to embark now Seaport will be good, but it's only for one city, so it's not really that useful. Archaeology is uh, the next staple thing we want to get. But for now, we're going to build... Uh, take chivalry into banking, I think. Yeah, we get the extra trade route. Oh, printing press. That'll give us... Yeah, but for now, we're going to go with chivalry. So yeah, we can use great people to start golden ages as well. Uh, towards the late game. So if we get in an extra great great person, I don't know exactly. I think it's a musician, but I'm not sure. Uh, but we can also send them out to... Uh, uh, send them out to increase tourism, so... Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, it's time for business. Uh, they declare war on us. I have seen this coming since the very start of this campaign, actually. So, uh, that's why I've been building military units, but I guess I slacked off a bit. Uh, and now I'm paying for that mistake. So, war will uh, decrease. Like, it'll completely halt the influence between... Uh, uh, it'll halt the influence between... Uh, 
like the with the target sieve. So if you're at war with someone, there's basically no tor tourism between yours and theirs, uh, which is unfortunate. Or I think at least there's no uh, modifiers. I should say, I'm not sure about the tourism itself. But as you can see, it's falling now. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Probably we'll have to beat beat him up a bit uh, and defend our cities best as best we can. Uh, I'm gonna move my workers away from the border. Songai has a trireme over here that we're gonna shoot at. Uh, I have quite a few pikemen and stuff, but I don't think swordsman is gonna be uh, good enough to defend. I'm just gonna make a, a little encampment around my oh yeah I think I have a caravan that probably got lost yeah I lost the caravan which is unfortunate uh, Salvador is starving because this uh, trireme is blocking the uh, if we check here uh, citizen management it blocks the uh, ocean tiles from being used at all so Salvador is starving we're gonna have to do something about that uh, I think our best bet is to buy a Gallius yeah, we're gonna buy a Gallius here, and we're gonna have to uh, next turn use it to uh, force. Uh, damn it, fishing boats. Okay, so uh, he's got a great general as well. So uh, this could be the end. Like, if I'm not, uh, if I don't play this good, I'm gonna lose this. So Salvador will shoot. And then I will attack it with my, or shoot at it with my boat here. It's not quite dead, so the city is still starving, which is uh, bad for us. But we are... Yeah, this guy will have to be on alert. So we got enough faith. So now we got the cultural exchange here. Yeah, we're gonna grab that uh, while we can. So now we got the 40% uh, from each, which is a uh, big boost up from 25 so it's almost uh, almost twice or it's what 40 percent increase or something like that no wait 80 wait what mm, my math is not very good 75 percent i think it is no it, it's 60 percent 60 percent increase uh but it's still very good uh, so now we're producing 21 towards others uh, if we have a trade route and open borders which we are aiming towards getting with everyone so uh, hopefully we can uh, blitz ahead of the Egyptians at the moment uh, we're rising slowly everywhere so uh, Songhai will probably be the hardest uh, if this war w w rages on uh, for more for several turns more which will hurt us in the long run we're gonna keep this oh wait we can upgrade him to what crossbow now okay that's that's fine um, so yeah he has quite a few swordsmen which is bad because swordsmen are quite strong uh, I don't have any walls in any cities either so this could prove uh, difficult to defend. So we're gonna keep building the brass and wood camps. This guy is gonna fortify. Uh, this guy is gonna move out and then fortify. Uh, we're gonna hunt this uh, trireme down. That's what he gets for destroying our boat. Uh, so Salvador is no longer. Uh, it's no longer starving. Uh, which is good, but it's no longer growing either because he destroyed the fishing boats here. So until the border grows and we get some more food or we do something else, it's probably going to be still on 7. Which is fine for now, but we probably want it to be become bigger eventually. So yeah, that's uh, where we're at now. We're going to fortify this part so he has to go all the way around to attack the city. And hopefully our soldiers on this side can hold them off long enough for our city to do work. 
on his on his uh, on his men, so to speak. Uh, Egyptian great prophet coming in. Hopefully they don't get killed. We should have made like gotten this chivalry faster to get a uh, defensive pact, perhaps. So this is gonna be on. Uh, all right, so Prague. All right, so uh, we probably want steel and gunpowder. Uh, just because we're at war so we want to end this war as fast as possible because as you guys can see uh, or as yeah as you can see here there are quite a lot of men here so if we can get gunpowder and upgrade our units to uh... wait what no how dare you no I'm not interested uh, in war with the Polynesians as well because that will basically end my influence uh, gaining towards them as well so uh, we can shoot with Sao Paulo uh, yep I'm gonna go ahead and do that and this is basically gonna be all fortified this this part here hopefully it'll last I should probably ally with Kiev uh, no I don't have enough gold for that uh, hmm this puts me in a tricky spot. I thought I, I would I thought Songai was cool with me, man. He betrayed my trust. He's got to die. No, I'm kidding. I uh, I won't kill him. Um uh, But Ramses is just speeding ahead. He's got both Sistine Chapel and Globe Theater, so I might lose this. Uh I'm probably not gonna win this campaign, I can tell you that. I've fallen way behind. Uh, so we're gonna make a workshop, I believe is the best. Unless we can get some more food, no. Workshop. Workshop it is. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna keep building the... So yeah, he wants to give peace and he'll give us gold, so that's... Uh, we're gonna accept that. And then we can... Keep focusing on our civil goals. Uh, yeah, so uh, friendship agreement or whatever you want to call it. So Salvador is growing, that's good. Uh, man, Ramses is just hoarding. Uh, yeah, this he's probably got a lot of. Yeah, he's we're up on the same same level here, so we're gonna have to up our game here. Uh, oh yeah, Sao Paulo is back to Islam. That's great. Uh, so I'll go show you guys we have uh, influence by players so we get 26 uh, tourism towards Egypt that is great uh, once we reach a go golden age it'll double so hopefully that passive alone will help us surpass Egypt um, but I'm not quite sure about that so yeah uh, we have no bonus with Songhai probably would want to give him like try and get a deal with open borders and stuff an unmet player has lost their capital so we have open borders open borders I'm not scared of them so I'll give them open borders because I really want open borders with them as well uh, yeah we're basically all on the same island it looks like um, except for this yeah this is on a separate island Oops. Uh, so yeah so keep building up the uh, Brasswood camps, I suppose. And try and get culture production up so uh, Egypt cannot uh, make themselves known in our territory, so to say. Because they're quite influential over us. Uh, I think we're slightly ahead, uh, except when it comes to them, because they have so high production of uh, of uh, culture because of their wonder spamming which leads me to believe oh awesome uh, so our spy has been uh, increased in level we're still going to protect our own so we killed the Songhai spy um, We're gonna tell him that we're gonna let it slide because we have quite friendly relation with them. 
I don't want to ruin that so he'll go to war with us once more. We have 10 turns of peace treaty, but I don't think that's going to be enough for uh, for us to mess with them in any way because then he'll just uh, declare war again as soon as possible. So uh, we're going to forgive him. Uh, We've been to war, he doesn't seem to hold a grudge. That's good. Um, so Oxford University is halfway done. Oh yeah, give me that open border. So I hope we have open border towards them and they don't towards us. I'm gonna check, just in case. Still, great scientist, nice. Uh, that's actually very good for us. So here, Brazil will camp. So we can either plop him down, or we can use him to f uh, get gunpowder, I guess. Yeah, we can all we can get gunpowder in like uh, the following turn if we use him to get uh, a technology, which is good. But at the same time, I think we may want to. Uh, so let's see. He built the Sistine Chapel, but he also built another building. I can't remember what it was. Uh, Oh yeah, Globe Theater. Um, oh, that's a strong building. Uh, maybe I should have rushed for that instead. Oh, I want that. So we're gonna go printing press, and then I'm gonna use this to uh, get that, so that we can hopefully get the Leaning Tower of Pisa in Rio de Janeiro to get the Great People Generation. Um, We'll probably not be able to get it, uh, but if we can, that will give us enough of a boost. Okay, so embassy five gold per turn against Coco. That's uh, that's a good deal. Uh, we still get from Coco. Yes, we haven't traded away the last one. Just want to make sure. Uh, um. So yeah, open borders, Coco. That's great. Uh, we want as much open borders as possible. Uh, we don't have open borders with uh, Songhai yet. Hopefully we can get that eventually. Same with India, we don't have... Uh, no, we have open border, we don't have trade route. Uh, probably want to set up a trade route if I can. I'm going to check in Salvador if it's possible. So now we're going to uh, get banking into architecture. And try and catch up. Once we reach scientific theory, we're gonna use that to catch up with uh, with Egypt uh, technologically. So yeah, I'm gonna change production here to oh 73 turns. <sighs> that is insane. Oh damn! Maybe in Sao Paulo, 87 turns. How about here? 37, so I'm gonna build that here in Salvador. Uh, whatever production we had before, we'll have to wait. Or will it? Yeah, that was workshop, so perhaps I should go workshop into. Workshop into Leaning Tower, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And hope that we don't lose it to uh, these bastards. So, yeah, um, oh, uh, yeah, we've run out of time for this episode, uh, and uh, yeah, <coughs> here we go. so we're gonna end here. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. My channel is based on uh, just casual gaming, gaming for fun, and uh, if that's what you're into, you can s subscribe and. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode.